What's up? You got your boy Direct, aka Native Shades, reminding you to like and subscribe. Cause today we're gonna be talking about the infamous pause tape technique. <laughs> now, this is one of the legendary, the, the legendary, the wives' tales technique of hip hop production. Now, in hip hop, you know we love loops. However, we chop them up and loop them up. We love loops. And this technique was a technique that you had to use to loop up your track if you didn't have anything like a sequencer or anything that can loop it up for you. So let's say you had a loop, like, um, you know, when Puff uh, looped the track for bad, 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 bad boys. <laughs> And it's like dun 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 dun. So on a pause tape, what you would do was you would have the original song, put it in a cassette player. Now you needed a cassette player that could catch the pause. You needed one that was up to par. You know what I mean? Not any old cassette player now. Or you could you could even do an outside source like hook up a turntable to the cassette player. However you did it, you know what I'm saying? So you would press record and you would play the loop. So it'll go dan 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 dan. So right at the end of the loop, you would pause it. Right where you feel it should start back at the one. Pause it immediately. And you, you had to have your timing correct. You had to be on beat. And then you would rewind the, let's say if it's a record player you have connected to the cassette deck or whatever, you would, you'd rewind the record player back to the beginning of the loop, maybe a little bit further than the beginning of the loop, a little bit further back, so that when the loop starts on the dun, 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 before it starts on that one, that dun, dun, before it starts on that, you would unpause it <laughs> and then it would record and then you would catch that to elongate the first loop you did. So now you have, you know, the first one was one bar. So now you got a two bar loop. Simple, right? <laughs> so you would do that for the length of the song you're trying to do. So if it's a four minute song, it's going to be a minute. It's going to take you all night. <laughs> so that's what made a pause tape unique in its creation. And it was basically created due to limited resources. What the producers during those times did was they did their best to do more with less. I mean, you know, sometimes we look at it and we look at all the gear and all the technology we have right now. And it's just like, give us more, give us more, give us more. And, you know, we love it. Trust me. I, I love it. I, I buy the gear and everything like that. And I love more also. But there is a special place in production with doing more with less. So this is your boy, Direct, a.k.a. Native Shades, talking about that pause tape <laughs> and reminding you to like and subscribe. And I'm signing off.